Hi guys, good morning. Um, okay, we're going back to our running stretch. So we just did some pranayama and now we're gonna get into it. So I want you to take that um, wedge that you created with your towel and move it to the back of your mat and then put just the tips of your toes on the wedge. Um, so there's a gap between the top of your foot and the floor, okay? And then I want you to tap your sit bones back to your heels to stretch to the top of your feet and then shift forward. Do that a couple of times. Tap the sit bones to the back, stretch to the top of your feet, and then shift forward. We're gonna add on to that. The higher the wedge, if you're not feeling it, double that wedge over, okay? Or put less of your foot on it, stretch to the top of your feet, and then shift forward to stretch to the hips a little bit. Stretch to the top of the feet and then stretch forward. Keep your belly button pulled into your spine. Three more, tap it back. Stretch forward for three, tap back. Stretch forward. Last two, tap back. Stretch forward. Last one, we're gonna hold it there. Weight down onto your heels. The more weight you're putting there, the more stretch that you're gonna get through the top. You can relax your arms by your sides or you can keep them forward to stretch through the spine as well, holding this wedge child pose for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up to neutral. Now curl your toes under. You can just put your toes in front of the wedge and tap your sit bones back there. So push down into the mat with your toes. As you do that, shift back, hold that stretch, push into the floor. You're stretching really a lot through the um, bottom tendon in your foot. If you have any type of plantar fasciitis, this is gonna be too aggressive um, for you. So don't, don't do it if you're there, okay? And then again, stretch the spine. All right, come back up to neutral. Belly button into the spine. Couple rounds of cat cow. Inhale, tail up, shoulder blades down. Belly button into the spine. Exhale, round back, push the floor away. Three more. Inhale, chin up, shoulder blades down, heart and chin lift. Exhale, round back. Last two. Inhale, tail up. Exhale, tail down. Last one, inhale, tail up. Exhale, tail down. Good, come back up to neutral spine. Good, we're gonna work with a back strengthener here, okay? Come all the way down onto your belly for cobra. Zip your thighs together, draw your shoulders down your back. Don't use your butt muscles to lift your low back, okay? I want your butt muscles to stay relaxed. And inhale, lift through your heart by drawing your shoulder blades towards each other. Feel a stretch across your sternum, across your chest, and then exhale, come down. Two more, drop the shoulders, open up the chest, lift, strengthen your back muscles. Inhale there. Exhale, come down. One more time, draw your shoulders down your back. Shoulder blades down your back, lift your heart, draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale there. Exhale, come down, curl the toes under. Firm up your thighs by lifting your kneecaps. Press up with a soft elbow, upward facing dog, belly button into the spine, open up the chest. And then exhale again through the knees. Now open your knees wider, shift your bum back to your heels, child's pose. Three counts for three. For two and one. Come back up to neutral. Take that uh, pad from the back of your mat. You can use it to pad your knee. We're moving into hip flexor and quad stretch. Okay, so your right, excuse me, your right knee is going to be down. Your left foot is going to go forward. Okay, so I've lunged forward into my left foot. We did this same stretch when we were working with um, the Viking um, series, okay? The top of my right foot is pushing into the ground. I'm gonna drive my right knee forward like I'm trying to bring my knee up to my chest. 
Okay, I'm gonna feel a tightening here in the hip flexor, and then I'm gonna override and pull myself back into the lunge. Okay, drive forward, your upper body shifts back, like you're trying to bring knee to chest, and then override, pull yourself back into the lunge. One more time, drive forward that right knee like you're trying to bring it up to your chest. It doesn't move, the knee doesn't move it, but it shifts you back to neutral. And then override and pull yourself back into the lunge. Good, come back to neutral. Turn the lower leg in, externally rotating your hip. And again, lunge forward into that left knee. Now we're gonna work a little bit more inner thigh and groin, two muscles that get overly tight from running, drive the inside of your knee towards the top of your mat, okay? Feel the tightening of that inner thigh, and then override, pull yourself right back into the lunge. Drive the inside knee forward, like you're trying to bring knee to chest. Hands are falling down, and then override, pull yourself back into the lunge. One more time, drive the inside of the knee forward, touch the inner thigh, you can feel a tightening there, Override, pull yourself back forward into the lunge. Left elbow, left thigh. Right arm reaches up and over the ear. Okay, we're gonna get the low back. Take your right arm, reach forward towards the top of your mat, shifting your right shoulder forward and take a breath into the low right side of your back. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, come back up again. Extend through your left leg, right arm down, left arm reaches up and over that ear. Breathe in there, stretch along the left side and release it out. Beautiful. Let's stay with that right leg and move right into your quad stretch. So normally I would do this back up against the wall, but today we're just gonna do it with hand and foot because sometimes you don't have a wall available to you, okay? So, whoops, hello. Okay, um, so I'm going to push the foot into my hand and then I'm gonna override and pull back on the foot towards my bum. Now I want you to notice this, my hip is forward of my knee. So the right hip is forward of the knee, okay? I'm not smack on top of my kneecap, right? And in no way does my heel come anywhere near my bum when I pull it in. Push the foot into the hand, get a little contraction in your right quad, and then override and pull in. Two more times, push the foot away. Let that open up your right shoulder, open up the right front of your chest, and then override and pull in. Last one, press, 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 press away. And then override and pull in. Beautiful. Release that there. Switch legs. Left knee is going to go down. Right foot is going to go forward. We're going to start with the hip flexor, then we'll move into the inner thigh and adductor, uh, adductor and uh, groin, and then we'll do quads. Lunge forward into the right knee. Slide forward a little bit like on your kneecap, on the skin of your kneecap, so you're not like smack on top of the kneecap. Okay, and then drive that knee forward. Top of your foot is pushing into the ground. Brings you back to neutral, tightens the hip flexor, and then override and pull yourself back into the stretch. Drive it forward like you're trying to bring knee to chest. Override, pull yourself back into the stretch. If you have any knee issues and it feels more comfy to have your toes curl under, go for it. Drive your knee forward and then override, come back into the lunge, make sure the chest is staying forward and the chest is lifted. One more time, drive it forward, override and pull yourself back into the lunge. Good, squaring off the chest. You can press away from your right thigh. Good, come up, spin the lower leg in, okay? It's gonna get into the inner thigh, lunge forward into your right knee. 
Good, drive the inside of your thigh forward. Touch the inside thigh, make sure you feel the contraction. And then override and pull yourself back into the lunge. Now some people ask, well, how many times do I do a strength move to a stretch move? Today we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio, but sometimes if I'm working with clients where I know they're super weak, you know, in, in, a, in a certain part of their body because they're compensating by trying to use something else, I'll have them do more strength than stretch. So they'll do more contraction than they will stretch because that muscle is weakened, right? It's being either overworked and it's weakened, it's overly tonic and it's weakened, or it's being something else is supplementing for it all the time and doesn't have a chance to build. Pull yourself forward into the lunge. You could also place your hand on the inside of the knee and you can reach up and over. And then again, drive that left arm down towards the upper left hand corner of your mat. Then breathe into the low left side of your back. Excellent. Modified gate pose, extend through your right leg. Left arm goes low, right arm goes high. Stretch out and press your hips forward. Wriggle the right bicep behind the ear. Good. Excellent. Okay. We're going to go into a wider um, hip stretch now, front of the hip stretch. So you'll feel front of the hip on one leg and side of the hip on the other leg. So let's go um, left foot forward. We're coming into more of like a lizard lunge because from there we're going to go into an IT band stretch. It's called Vishnu's couch. It's pretty intense. Okay, so right leg is back, left leg is forward. It's walked over to the left side of my mat, and both of my hands are on the inside of my um, left leg. My belly button is into the spine, and I'm sinking into the stretch. Okay, and breathing. You can stay high, you can put a block underneath your hands, you can go down to your elbows, whatever works for you. Okay, so from here, I'm going to, I'm actually going to switch. So you guys can see better. Left foot forward, so right leg back. Okay. So from here, I'm going to roll onto the outside of my right leg and the outside of my left foot. Okay, and it's pretty intense on the forward leg in the top part of the hip where that IT band makes it up into there. Okay, my right leg is firm. All right, nothing is bent there. The only thing that's bent is my left knee, okay? And breathe there. You could sink down a little bit towards the mat with your hip, you don't have to though. For three, for two, and one. Come back up to center, lower your right knee down to the mat, and switch legs, okay? Right foot's gonna be forward, left foot's gonna be back this time. Extend through your left leg. Oh, I forgot to do the quad stretch on the left leg. I'll do it in a second. Okay, roll onto the outside edge of your left foot, outside edge of your right foot, and you're gonna feel that high in the hip on that right side, at the top part of the IT band, right? You could sink down a little bit with your left hip if you want. You could do all kinds of fancy yoga, mudra seals and stuff like that. I'll have to breathe for three, for two, and one. Come back to center, lower your left knee down to the mat, release the left foot, reach your left hand back to grab the foot. Again, the knee is not right underneath you, push the foot into the hand, and then override and gently pull in. Push the foot into the hand, let it open the left side of your chest, Left shoulder, override and pull it. Two more, push away. Override and pull in. For one, push away. Override and pull in. Good. Excellent. Release it. Nice job, you guys. All right, come down onto your back. Okay, onto your back for great hamstring stretch. All right, you're gonna need a strap for this or a towel, whichever works for you. And if you wanna take um, a block and put it underneath your head, you could do that too. 
before I go. Okay, so grabbing your strap, we're gonna work with the left leg first. Put the strap on the ball mount of your foot to start with. Extend through the leg and make sure that your heel, wait, let me just turn the camera a little bit up. Hey, Yogi. So I want you to see my heel when my leg is extended. Ready? I didn't realize I had another light in this room. Left foot on there. <coughs> okay, so when you pull down, is your heel higher than your toes? It should be. Okay, so from here, Yogi, you cannot sit right in front of the camera. Sorry, everyone knows that you're stretching, but you can't sit right in front of the camera. Okay, so gently pull down onto the ball mount and make sure your heel is higher than your toes. Okay, all right. From here, you're gonna press the ball mount up towards the sky so that the toes go higher than the heel and then release. Do like five of those, press up, feel your calf straightening, release, press, release, press, release, press. The last one we're gonna hold, press up and hold. Okay, now over right there and gently pull down towards your face. <coughs> feel a stretch in the calf, press up and hold. Override and pull down. Press up and hold. Override and pull down. Yo, the people can't see me anymore. Scoot over. Press up and hold. Override and pull down. Now internally rotate your foot, stretch to the outside of your ankle and into the peroneal. And then externally rotate your foot. You kind of get a stretch there through the Posterior to the alice. I can't believe my dog is upstaging me. Okay, internally rotate and externally rotate. You guys have probably met Yogi. He's the stretching therapy dog. One more time, internally rotate and externally rotate. Good. Give a gentle pull towards your face again and then slide the strap to the arch of your foot. Switch the grip so that you're grabbing the strap with your palms facing in towards each other. So you're grabbing it in between your index finger and your thumb. And gently pull back in an arc over your head. So don't pull down towards your chest. Pull like in an arc over your head. Really like straighten out your arms, okay? Now, I want you to bend through the knee and bring your heel to your butt. And you usually lift your head up off the mat. So you have space in your arms in order to do that. This is contracting the hamstring. And then release it and come back up to neutral again. Do that one more time. Pull down towards your um, pubic bone with your heel, extending through your arms, and then release. Okay, now this time we're gonna pull down and we're gonna hold it. Pull down and hold. Okay, think about contracting the back of your left thigh, contracting your hamstring. Now pull up in the opposite direction and arc over your head to stretch the hamstring. Keep your core engaged, keep your low back on the ground. Pull down, heel to butt. Override and pull back up. Pull down, heel to butt. Override, pull back up. One more time, heel down to your bum. Override, pull back up. Good, release it. Just lay your left leg next to your right leg and see if you just feel a difference between the two legs. Like one of my legs feels like it's a couple inches longer. Okay, let's move into the right leg. And there's a whole series of those that you could do with, um, with resistance stretching. You do inside thigh, do your calf press ups. Um, outside thigh, you know, you're just working with resistance to straighten and then stretch it. Press up and hold, override and pull down. Press up and hold, override and pull down. Press up and hold, override and pull down. One more time, press up and hold. Override and pull down. Good, internally rotate your foot, stretch the outside ankle and peroneals. Externally rotate your foot. Internal rotation. External rotation. 
internal, external, slide the arch, slide the arch, slide the strap to the arch of your foot, switch your grip so you're pulling in an arc over your head, glue your blow back down, okay, bend through the knee, heel to your butt, you're resisting with your hands, and then release your head down, try that another time, heel down, head comes up, and then release it, last one we hold, bring your heel down, head up, Good, hold there, focus on the back of your right thigh. Now override that and pull it back to the starting position. Heel down to your bum. Override, pull back up to the starting position. Two more times, heel down to your bum. Override, back up to the starting position. Last one, heel down to your bum, keep your toes flexed. Override, pull back to the starting position. Breathe for two, keep resisting, light resistance. And one, good, release it. Very nice. Okay, come up. Final stretch for the uh, cue up. Heel comes into your bum, into your pelvis. You need to come over here. Come over here, Papa. I'm sitting on Mama's mat. Okay. Heel comes here. You could bend your right knee, so my left heel is in, or you could let the leg go long. You could also take a block if you need it and put it on the inside of your leg. So you're going to bring your elbow either to the floor or to that block. Okay. So bring the elbow on the inside of the leg, press the elbow into the leg, flex through your extended leg, through your right foot, and then reach your left arm up. Good, so you're probably feeling this low side in between your ribs and your um, hip crest, okay? If you wanna feel it a little bit more into your low back, think about reaching beyond your foot. I don't want you to forward fold yourself beyond your foot, but I want you to think about reaching beyond your extended leg and breathe for three, for two, and one. Good, release it and just switch sides. Come here, come here. Bring your right heel in, extend through your left leg, come over here, what are you doing? You like wanna be in front of everybody. Okay, extend through your left leg. If you have a dog sitting on your lap, just appreciate that. Press the left elbow on the inside of the thigh and then reach the right arm up and over. Keep reaching over, over your ear. Breathe into the low right side of your kind of side body, okay, in between your hip and your ribs. And then reach across beyond your foot and breathe three, for two, and one. Good, come back to neutral. Extend both legs. If this is uncomfortable, sit in whatever comfy position works for you. Pull the flesh out from the sits bones, drop the shoulders down, draw your chin to your chest. Circle the head around to the right. Come back to center, reverse the circle. Left ear, left shoulder. Sweep the right arm behind you. If you need more, take your left hand across your head. Gently separate the two. Release that, turn the chin towards the left shoulder. Take your hand to the back of your head and gently separate. Come back to center, release that, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Sweep the left arm behind. If you need more, reach your right arm across your head. Give a little bit of weight to it, no pulling, just weight. 
turned and looked towards your right shoulder, gently dropping your chin that way. Come back to neutral, chin to chest. Grab on beneath the clavicle, push in and pull down and then lift your chin the other way. Bring your low jaw to meet your upper jaw. Come back to neutral, interlace the hands behind your head, push your head back into your hands, open up your chest. Mm. Override that, pull the chin towards the chest. Draw the tips of your elbows to meet each other. You're getting a little bit of resistance by pushing, lightly pushing the back of your head into your hands. Good, come back to neutral. Draw the hands together in prayer and close your eyes. And just check in. If you feel any different, we did some pranayama in the beginning. Our mantra was, you got this. So let's end with that mantra, you on the inhale and the exhale, got on the inhale and the exhale, and then this on the inhale and the exhale. Take an inhale. Exhale. For the got, inhale. Exhale. This, inhale. Exhale. Connect the fingers to the third eye, the center of the forehead. Put my heart to yours, guys. I hope you have a pleasant rest of your day, a nice, enjoyable run if you're going out for one. If you have any questions, find me on Instagram under Stretch Stronger or Facebook under Meredith Bass, where you can just ask Aaron for my phone number. I'm happy to help. Namaste. See you later. Say bye, Yogi. Yes. You want to say bye to everybody? Come on, go say bye to everybody. Over here. Come say bye. <laughs> See you later.